Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, we will talking about the amazing dog, Malamutes and Huskies. Alaskan Malamutes and Siberian Huskies are both large, powerful sled dogs that originated in cold northern climates. While they share some similarities, there are also some important differences between these two breeds. Number 1. Size and Appearance Alaskan Malamutes are generally larger and heavier than Siberian Huskies, with males typically weighing between 85 to 100 pounds and standing around 25 inches tall at the shoulder, while females are slightly smaller at around 75 to 90 pounds and 23 inches tall. Their coat is thick and fluffy, usually in shades of gray, black, and white, and they have a broad head and heavy bone structure. Siberian Huskies are typically smaller than Malamutes, with males weighing between 45 to 60 pounds and standing around 23 inches tall at the shoulder, and females weighing around 35 to 50 pounds and standing about 21 inches tall. They have a leaner, more athletic build than Malamutes, with a distinctive thick double coat that comes in a wide range of colors, including black, white, gray, red, and copper. Number 2. Temperament and Training Both breeds are highly intelligent and independent, with a strong instinct to run and explore. However, Malamutes tend to be more laid back and reserved than Huskies, and are often described as more gentle giants. They are also generally easier to train and more obedient than Huskies, who have a reputation for being stubborn and difficult to train. Huskies are highly social and love to interact with people and other dogs, while Malamutes can be more aloof and independent. Both breeds have a strong prey drive and can be prone to wanderlust, so it's important to keep them on a leash or in a secure area when outside. Number 3. Exercise and Activity both breeds require a lot of exercise and activity, as they were originally bred for pulling sleds and working in harsh, cold environments. Huskies are generally more active and require more exercise than Malamutes, and can become destructive or unhappy if they don't get enough stimulation. In summary, while both breeds share some similarities, they also have some important differences in terms of size, appearance, temperament, and exercise requirements. Potential owners should carefully consider their lifestyle and needs before choosing which breed is right for them. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video.